Hello everyone, I'm Amari and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. We've just completed the long rest after saving the druids from their camp, so, or, you know, um, from the goblins, so they're nice and tucked away in their camp. The tieflings have moved on. Hopefully they make it to Baldur's Gate, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways, there's a lot of this area left unexplored, so I'm gonna go do that. But it's been a while since we've caught up with some of the companions and gotten to know them. So I'm gonna take the first part of this episode to kind of talk to them again. Um, and just as a side note, um, thanks everyone for your unending support on this channel. And I truly do, I read through all the comments and I try to respond to them. Um, in a timely manner. Um, it's overwhelming. I'm glad that we can have really good discussions and that you guys give me really, really good tips that I'm taking into account. Like I'm kind of mixing it. I'm taking some of it into account now and I'm saving some of them for a next playthrough. So thank you all. It's just been really lovely to have this series go up and you guys to be um, having an open dialogue with me. Anyways, uh, let's start with Gail. We'll make our way around camp, kind of talk to them all, make sure that we're, um, because they all have companion quests, uh, and I haven't, I haven't, like, okay, we, we've gotten quite far with Shadowheart, but I think it's because she's in my group and she constantly wants to talk. Um, this, I'm not gonna do this, so we're, we're gonna forget the main quest for a while. There's a lot of things here, and I'm sure there's more even more around here um like even this here let's forget that part we haven't even found the githyanki crush and i really want to find it because that will kind of complete this part to see whether i can find the githyanki crush but as for the companions like yeah we haven't even Gail's condition is no longer responding to treatment. And that's what we found. I gave him an item to eat. So I've been keeping these items. I haven't been selling them because I was like, oh, here's dinner for Gail, a nice blue or green item. And it didn't seem to have much of an effect last time. So best we we sort that out before he goes nuclear. Tell me, what can I do for you? Ooh, I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in this story. Ah, oh, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like. To be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So I remember reading part of this. So I read part of like the Sundering novels that started 5e. Um, it's been a while, and I kind of sped through them over a summer. Um, but yeah, they kind of they talk about this. I need to reread them. Like I'm, I, I I remember the general of what happened, but the details I've lost. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Okay, if you ever feel the Nethery's magic overtaking you, what will you do? 
If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Oh, I can't imagine the weight. Like, he wants power. That's why he has this problem, right? But he's willing to sacrifice himself because of his choices. And that's what makes him such a good, good man. I think that's why everyone likes Gil so much. Because he will honor the consequences of his own choices. I think that's why people realize... That's why I like him. Because he did something that was quite power-hungry and selfish. But he's not denying his responsibility. What do you make of having a vampire in our camp? <laughs> I know what it is to hunger. Mm -hmm. And I know what it takes to keep that hunger under control. He's done that so far, despite his condition. So long as he sates his appetite elsewhere, I'm happy to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, he's eating me. <laughs> okay, I don't want him to join my group. Let's go to Will. Okay, Will. Well met. What do you make of Raphael? Oh, I wonder if he knows of him. He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We oh, can learn a lot from gosh. fairy tales. Don't you think? That's the problem with devils. They speak in metaphor, too. Um... With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. I agree. I do... I'm so curious, though, what happens if you pick siding with one of these or, or gaining power or easy solutions from the devil? It makes me wonder. It makes me wonder what would happen but for this playthrough don't worry i have no interest in a devil's deal that's because you still have hope but when he becomes your last hope remember this he'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with mm. and then require more still you might think you'd give up anything for a cure but the devil won't take just anything he'll take everything that's weird coming from him because kind of the whole thing with warlocks is that yeah the pact you made a pact with with an otherworldly being should get out of this pact a possibility that's kept me awake countless nights but i don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules that's the only language devils listen to <laughs> I'm sure she could do worse than what she already has. There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can beat her if we put our worms together. <laughs> we can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. 
If anyone had great insight to the devil, it would be him. Volo! Ah, my good fellow! Quite the cozy setup you have here. <clears throat> I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I hope he comes with us in the entire journey. Uh, have you has your has your research turned up anything that might help us with this parasite problem? Oh no. Please don't offer to stab my eyeball with the sewing needle again. That's not a surgical instrument. He's going to, huh? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems no. quite actionable. Nope, we're not gonna no. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. He really wants I to do this. Attempt an extraction. Nope. I've a needle in my tunic after all. It's not sterilized and it's probably for sewing so this is gonna be a hard no for me you won't find a more learned opinion on this matter I assure you nope thank you though it was very very kind of you but I think his interest in is in the ooh you know the you fuck around and find out <laughs> don't dally my friend <clears throat> I admire that about him but not when it concerns my eyeball. Although, I could do that, and it will match my character. Oh, my, my character will kind of match me in a way. He stabs my eyeball and makes one of them blind. Then it'll kind of be like me in real life. Carlson. Oakfather's blessings to you. Uh, how will the grove fare without you? Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. Okay, at least not Kaga. That girl sucks. Who? Precisely. Who indeed. You do not know and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. Ah. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oakfather's teachings without bias. Mm. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. It's actually a good idea. Sounds like the grove will be in good hands then. Indeed. Um, oh. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. I like Halson. He's like a... He approaches nature. Like his, his, I guess, connection to nature and the magic of nature, but with a scientific understanding. I, I, like, I like his angle. The shadow curse he spoke of. Surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have oh. to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. I kind of... This is what I'm so torn about. Eventually, not now. But when I, when I traverse through to the Moonrise Towers... It said either or Underdark or the Shadow Cursed Lands. Uh, I really hope I can do both. I don't want to miss out on anything. But if I had to choose, I'll probably go Underdark first, just because Underdark intrigues me. Uh, what about the secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Hmm... I know he wants to go to the Moonrise Tower. It can't have been easy surrendering your, your surrendering your title. Won't oh, you miss being first druid? Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's <laughs> a terrible burden. It takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role. I say, likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. Oh, that's I'm Kaga. Just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. So that guy's such a this guy's such a pure guy. Kaga though. She was power hungry. I, I didn't even know that I was flirting really. 
Uh, how are you faring out here at camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. Wonder, is there a way to romance more than one character? Can you? Or are you kind of. Is this a monotonous game? A monotonous monogamy game? <laughs> well, if there's anything I can do to make you less comfortable, let me know. I hope this. Oh, wait. You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep coming across them everywhere. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. And why do you want to go to Moonrise Towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his dark justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection. Mm. Is that why you went with Aradin? You thought he might find this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then yeah. perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Seramorphosis aberrations. But, in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. No. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Seems like you feel responsible for the Shadow Curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. All right. I, I don't want to say this until I find out whether I can romance more than one person. Because this this playthrough is Gale. Okay, Lazel. Speak. Ah. <sighs> Is it me, or have you been looking at me differently? I have a confession. What is it? I was too hasty to judge you. Oh, have we earned her I respect? You witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> should I <laughs> write back at you? I thought you were cruel, stubborn, and judgmental. Yes, all that is true. I am cold as the sea of night. But you have stoked fires I didn't know I possessed. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. Yeah, I would. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. Excuse me. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat uh? and my hair stand on end. This makes me very uncomfortable. Um <laughs> No, no, it's not like that, Lysel. It's like the first person she respects automatically falls in love with. Um, if you respect me so much, then why are you such a prickly grouch? If you must know, Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be 
to survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Ah, enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Yee. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. No. But I want it all the same. Oh no, no. No. I'm flattered, but the answer is no. <laughs> I'll just... I mean, that was very insightful. Uh, Your loss, I fear. Really? One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, Ooh. how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. Oh, I still. She feels so predatory. <laughs> I I feel uncomfortable. Hello. What can I do for you? And then by p total opposite, he's just so this guy's so, so jolly. Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave, a vampire spawn, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands, but now I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. What? Conveniently lost, as in they think he's gone? Or it's because of the tadpole? How does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. Oh, and he was never. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stick. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn? To create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. So about, oh, how about, what do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Tower? We'll say that first. Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers, if we can convince the right people to talk. So about you biting me. I've already apologized. <laughs> what more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. <laughs> uh, I need to know how we'll feed you in the future. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. Okay. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included and if i happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight what's the harm they're just as dead i agree sounds good glad we could agree as am i i'm starting to feel a little peckish already oh okay He'll probably feast on on me tonight because no one else seems willing to have him nibble on them. I'd like some time to talk. Copper for your thoughts. Mizor said you fit the criteria for will to hunt. What did she mean? Help me kill those paladins of tear. Yeah, I'll we're gonna go you, do that. A bit of good gossip for your good help. Okay, so we we have that to do with her. So we'll go do that. And Shadow Heart. May the darkness protect you. You seem intrigued when Halston mentioned Jar. I keep saying Jark. Dark Justicars before. Yeah. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Okay. 
You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? What drew you, drew you to, wor to Shar worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Tell me something about yourself, besides Shar, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? <laughs> well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? She can't swim, oh no. You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass some. It's a deal. Anything else you'd care to share? No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. That's so sad. She can't remember who she is. That's a really big sacrifice for her own deity. You've had your memory suppressed? Seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Sha will reward me when I succeed. Okay. That seems to be everyone, save for Withers. We have Scratch. We're gonna pet. Oh, where did the owlbear cub go? Was hanging around here. I don't see it anymore. Eh, it might be just somewhere. Hopefully. <laughs> Enemies are fair game. Okay, these ones we're not gonna do. But there's a lot of things we can do. A lot. And what do we do? Bark. Search the cellar. How do we get through that mirror? Well, we'll, we'll deal with that one next. We have to do this one. I want to do this one. So that's the one that we will do. Nice to see the grove kind of at peace. Okay. Yeah, I need to do some bag management. I wonder if the kids cleared out of here. If they left some stuff. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. I'm just curious. I'm curious to see if they left anything behind. Oh, there's Bindal. Hello, who are you? Why are you hurt? <clears throat> what are you doing here? Uh, Pace is returning to the grove. Oh, we have you to thank for that. Oh, that's the one that was in the the the, the whole grove. The thing. access to the grove that we saved. Oh, this is still considered stealing. Okay. Maybe if I play him a tune. Worthless junk. I'll play him a tune over here. See whether I can get some of that stuff back. <laughs> Let's play it on the loot. He looks like a loot loot kind of person. Is he not into this? I need him away from there. Hmm. No time for Danny. Where did they find all this clutter? 
a pace is returning. Hmm. He's walking. Or he's just staring. I wonder if he can't see what's going on here. He didn't notice. Want the rubbish? What's this junk? Ah, God. Didn't mean to take the whole bucket. Could I take it? I just want to take... I think this is my stuff. Caught in the act. So much for the perfect crime. With your ill gotten gains discarded, the accusation fizzles away. Well, guess I can't take it while he's there. Let's get going. With haste. Maybe if I play here. Oh, there. Okay, he's not he's not noticing. I'm gonna get us out of here. Yee. <laughs> mm. At least it's stuff to sell. Worth a shot? Hope you enjoyed that. Oh wait. No, 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 no. No, stay there. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, done. The little thieves would have picked the whole grove clean. If not, I guess over, he doesn't notice. Through. simple enough. <laughs> He'll never know. <clears throat> never a dull moment. I don't know why he's still here. We're gonna go talk to everyone else at the Grove, but let me just empty out my bags real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, we've done our selling. Let's see what remains left behind here, or who is left behind here. Oh, Loic is still here? Oh, I haven't even gone through that stone door. You did this grove a great favor. And now leave the rest to us. We cannot restore balance to the grove while you continue loitering. It's this guy again. Please leave. This guy is so rude. You disgust me. No, I'll be on my way Make soon. it quick. You're disrupting the harmony of this holy place. This guy annoys me. Master House is this considered past stealing? This prime. It nope. might be time for another. I'm no fan of those devils either, but they're leaving. 
If it had Ooh. been up to Korga, they would never have been here at all. It's not considered stealing, so I don't think it's not red. Who is left behind? Oh, the spell plague. Where is that book? Oral histories of the spell plague. Master Helsin's home. This book is comprised of several chapters, one of each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 25, Cornelius and Timelius, a worthy ward. Oh my god, he's talking so much. Hold on. Let's go over here where I can't hear them chatting. And then I'm gonna go through there. Chapter 25, Cornelius and Timelius, worthy ward. Halflings encountered on the golden road south of Inarlith. I met the brothers, or rather they found me, in the lower pass through the Fireshare Mountains. They had encountered a trail of golden discs along the path and had resolved to gather and return them to whatever fool had much, had more coin than common sense. Oh my god, they keep talking! Can I just read in peace? God. It was to our mutual embarrassment, then, that I removed my cloak to reveal my patchwork yellow hide. Hey, this is the dragonborn one, the potato! Yeah. Wait, dragonborn? Am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah. The potato. Okay, I didn't have to go so far. Let's see what's through here. What is this place? The Devil You Know, an autobiography. Have you ever had a god change your blood? It is a horrifying thing, even for those who may desire it. Yet, few tieflings wished for Asmodeus to change their bodies, only to be given no choice in the matter. It is not as if we were well loved before the Arc Devil's gambit. Our people had always struggled against the notion of devilkin, as if a single drop of infernal ichor inescapably corrupts. How amusing when so many others willingly sell their souls to fiends, yet their culture as a whole escapes the blame. By what method can we redeem ourselves when the crime is not ours? I would drive a blade into every warlock that aided Asmodeus' damned ritual, but personal vengeance cannot undo the will of a god much less one as slippery as the Lord of Lies. When every passerby thinks you a thief and a heretic, it is deeply tempting to become one. The only thing that has stopped me is knowing Asmodeus wants nothing more than for all of us to fall from grace. How hard to be a tiefling. I wonder whose stuff this is. Oh, oh there's... There's stuff up there, hold on. Front and center, a Thespian's memoir. In fact, the greatest joy of my life has been acting. Hasn't been acting, but becoming. When you choose a character to play, you don't just wear a mask. You take a little of their soul for your own. Whoever you are in your heart of hearts changes, if only by the faintest moat. In... Invasion plans for uh, Eltegard. Eltegard. A lot of territory to cover before Baldur's Gate. And any cure found there. An aging map of Eltegard and its surroundings. The city of Baldur's Gate and Elturel are both marked, but it's the will but it's w the wilderness in between that's covered in notes, symbols and ciphers, the freshest ink marks. Pictographs of goblins and gnolls sh shown gathering in the forests and hills nearby. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4, The Risen Road. Oops. The stained, well-thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seemed to be decades out of date. 
Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road, running parallel to the River Chanthar. The Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from El Toral to Baldur's Gate, and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Chanthar. A portion of the road approximately half between El Torel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave of Selene... <laughs> Selene worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Farther east lies the city of Citadel of Moonrise Towers, where atoll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll. However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. A Traveler's Guide to Baldur's Gate Variety is the blood of the city itself, for better or worse. The devoted will find a place to worship, the dedicated will find work to be done, and let it be fully understood by any who wish to visit. The crim criminal enterprises in Baldur's Gate Thrive as heartily as the rest. On the origins of Zentarim. Now, this is another faction in D&D. &D, the Zentarim. Oh. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatex, rebound by Yosefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatex for God's Annal of Lost and Hidden Knowledge but perhaps greater still than their monopoly as the continent's largest private army, the true achievement of the modern Zentarum is the sanitized image they present to the world. Viewed by most as an efficient, if unscrupulous, mercenary organization, few would guess that the Black, Black Network's dark origins as a cult dedicated to the dark god Bane, once bent towards bringing all people to heel beneath his creed of tyranny and domination. Many among their ranks scoff when confronted with this fact, citing overblown conspiracies and reassuring me that the only gods to whom the Zentarim give worship today are the twin deities, prophet and power. This is not to say the organization has entirely shed its dark side. However, alongside the clenched fists of their military, another hand works from the shadows to ensure that the network prospers even in peacetime. For just as vital as the movement of troops, is the movement of goods, legal or otherwise, and there is no border or market that is ever truly closed to one bearing the seal of the Black Network. Oh, I really want to steal stuff, but I don't know who this belongs to. I can't, can't just blindly steal. I'm, I'm a good aligned character, so we're gonna see where this leads. Oh, it, the ladder was red. Here. This is where we found Karlak. Huh. This pack backpack is good to go. A carrot! Well, we need to go here anyway. Yeah, this is the way we need to go. We're already here. How convenient. Can everyone make it though? Okay, good. Everyone can make it. Hmm. 
we jump across? This is such a steep... That's a fall damage right there. Yeah, that's a fall damage right there. Not enough space! I don't want to take this fall damage. Well, none of us have feather fall. Is ever. <laughs> he has misty step. Okay, but now he's safely down there. At least things have stayed interesting. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish I I got feather fall. Kinda wish. What the hell? I'm My trying to select protects me. Yeah, no feather fall. Well, we're all gonna do it. Ouchie. Still alive, so that's progress. Why did you jump back up? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I wonder what the next move is. Are you shy? Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Time to press ahead. Oh, the owl, owl bear. I think this is where the baby came from. It must have run off. Or maybe the goblins killed the mother. It's a coffin. Is this Asterion's coffin? <laughs> like there's so many hints here about Asterion. Oh, a wooden spoon. Let's check out the owlbear cave. Because I think I think the mother was probably killed. Eviscerated goblin. Yeah, the mother was probably killed. I still don't know what to do with this. Oh, there was a whole like battle that went on here. Yeah. She deserved better than that. Well, the baby is with us now, I think. Headless skeleton. Ooh. That's nice. Owlbear egg. Could we hatch another baby? An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Or we could sell it. Anything backpack up here? And a skeleton there. Oh. What else is down here? Just heavy stone. I don't feel like carrying a heavy stone with me. Don't know what to do about this gilded chest. But considering that this is all like a Saluna tribe, a tr shrine, um, either to do something for Saluna or I don't know, put in the light or something. Maybe it has to be Shadow Heart. But she's a char. No time to waste. She got seriously hurt touching it though. Oh no, let's not do it. 
I, I don't think she's gonna be able to touch it. There's I'll just no way one. she'll be able to. What do we have here? All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. One day I'll catch a break. So we have Carlac with us. We just have to make it across here. And then go up to deal with those paladins. And also explore that entire region over here. I also need to explore down here. There's like a huge, like, from, from I can see from the village, it's like a big swampy region. Paladins were up this way. No, oh, pile of bones. Did I loot this already? No, I didn't. So here. This is where they are. And we have Karlak with us, so she'll be very, very happy. Let's see. So we have to continue traveling with Char. Deal with the paladins. Continue traveling with Will. We have to find the crush for for Lazel. Continue traveling with Asterion. Continue with Will. A uh, Gale. Got a lot that. So we're about to do Carlax one. There's all of these bodies here. Severed foot. Dead no rib cage. I don't know what's gonna be here. Lots of dead knoll. Let's deal with that later. Where did Where did Will go? Oh my god, Will. I can't believe sometimes they don't follow. It's very problematic. Okay, we will save here. This is gonna be tough. Need to find a way forward. Cyril. She's not hostile. Please, oh. no more. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in what? kind. These are the, the paladins. Cut the crap yeah, out yeah. Us. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us, please. We just want to go home. I wish I could probe his mind. I can hear whispering, it's creepy. Ooh. The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head and a pike. Ah. Haha. -ha. You want to kill her on- you don't fear Karlak, you want to kill her on Zarel's behalf. Huh. I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. <gasps> you do How dare well you call her a dog? You consider your alliance with this animal. She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war. Frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. 
Rage all you want, Karlak. Burn with the might of the Hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. Avanus was never my home. Oh. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I never Yeah, tell him, Karlak. So these are paladins of paladins of I'm gonna shut this door. Wait, can I go up here through this door? Oh wait. This door is outside! I totally could. Oh, this girl is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna close this door too. <laughs> okay, Karlak or Shadowheart. Shadowheart can bless us first. What's a safe spot here? Probably in the corner here. We kind of boned ourselves being in between these two. I wish I wish I had someone up here. That's such an advantageous spot right here. Probably I'll have this one ready at this door because she's gonna come in. Can I open the door hex and then close it? That's from the... Uh, let's do... Are these truly paladins? Is he truly a paladin? Is he wisdom based? But would it say if I examine him? Chariz or charisma based. So I can. And then close this door. Stand over this side, away from Shadowheart. He's gonna come here, so I'm gonna rage. Oh wait, no, actually. Oh wait. Oh no, I should go in. No, I shoot. Oh no! He's coming here. What? That is not line of sight. Oh shoot, the cutting words. I forgot to set that as an option. Oh! Holy moly! Where is she gonna go? change this to like don't do it unless I ask you to How to go into my reactions. Maybe it's in my spell book. 
this. got hit like that was like a truck truly worry about Karlak because that that hit so hard today you fall oh and I missed I don't want to do that not not right now use a handful God's, it's hot in here Hard fighting through a door. Now I can either use a potion or a frenzied strike, and I feel like I feel like I should take a potion because that hit me very, very hard. Well, he's in here now. Love the spiritual weapon. I don't know where you're going. You can stay there if you like, though. Or you can come back downstairs. Up to you. Come on in. Enjoy that for a while. Okay, things are going o okay. Close to him, though. I, I don't want to get close to him. Oh, nice. This is my time. Reply hex. the door make her come here <laughs> oh I can't go there actually make my way over oh, my word hello You are not going upstairs. <laughs> I don't know if the sword will make it there, but the sword can probably get most of the way over here. Uh, 
Oh. That didn't last very long. What path lies before me? Where, 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 where? I want to smack you with one of these. Ah, and miss. Perfect. Fighting through a door, kind of rough with this camera. to loot everything. Sword of Justice. This is better than what Karlak has. We can speak to Karlak and then loot. Fuck them. Fuck Thalariel. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others <laughs> left off, They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Ooh. Yeah, go girl. Zariel won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, relish in the success. Victory is ours. Oh, I love her so much. Order of the Gauntlet on matters of law. What the hell? What does that sound? Oh, she's celebrating. Hey. Ow! You know, we're kind of getting hurt here. Hello? Calm down. Okay, let her. Let her just. Oh! Hello? What are you doing? You can't burn this place down! We're looting! Oh god. She's setting this... She ruined it. Okay, we're gonna just... Oh my god, please, Karlak, let me... Let me loot. Stop! Please! Can't you see... Poor game. Oh my god, you got it out of your system? That ought to do you it. ruined a book? What's in here? She has no respect for 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 books. No problem. Wish I had a bag of holding. Yeah, a bag of holding, please, Larian. There's a loot here, but Let's get someone else to carry some of the heavier items. Oh, my camp supplies. You can carry this. I thought like that many thieves tools. What am I carrying in here? Suspicious potion. Do the keys weigh a lot? No. Patched together sack. Whoa. When healing another wearer, the gain uh another the wearer gains one to six 
coins. Well, here is crown. What does that look like? Oh. You don't have a backpack. You have a barrel. Let's get rid of that. Drop item. Pouch. Take all. All of these extra pouches I need to get rid of. This food weighs... food weighs a lot. Hmm... Yeah, that's good enough. I have so much... Just so much stuff in my bag, so... Maybe I can alchemy a little bit. Ooh, potion of greater healing. Yes. Oops. Potion of speed. Can make some elixirs. Fire resist. I need. Coatings. Not as interested in. Is this to keep concentration? Maybe I should drink this before a fight. If it's for concentration. Don't know what this is. Bloodlust. Let's give one of those elixirs to Shadowheart. And one for me. Not done looting. At least not everything's on fire right now. Where did that book go though? Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh wait. Some of these I've talked to Gale already. I can just sell the rest. I'll do that in a bit. Yeah, let's talk to Carlac. <laughs> That's so cute. She went on a rampage. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. How could you withstand the heat? Hear that. Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. I was wondering what that noise Won't was. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. What? She has a machine in her. How the hells did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things. If I can find him. Ooh, that would be great. Let's do that for you. I wonder if they meant Damon, a tiefling weaponsmith. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good.
Household prayer. Lathander to light, Saluna to guide, Kelimvor to judge, and passage provide. Order of the Gauntlet on matters of law and justice. God. Uh, good is the absence of evil. It means to seek peace and to enforce it. It means to seek depravity and to denounce it. And it means to trust in your God and yourself. For the greatest good of all is called faith. Goodness is not lawfulness. Law is commandment of God or of mortals. It is the call of authority and the sanction of its opponents. Law is the father of order. To renounce it is to invite chaos, in which there is neither meaning nor life. Law can be corrupted. Lawfulness is not goodness. I say to you then that we seek not to be good or to be lawful, but to be just. For what it is to be good if we cannot define the acts that oppose it? What is it to be lawful if it's it is a if it is a devil's command we obey. Justice is the hand that feeds the hungry, and the shield that guards the weak. It is the sword that fells the wicked, and the cloak that warms the indig indigent. What's up with me today? It must be the cold meds. It is for justice that the Order of the Gauntless stands watch, and it is justice that Tyr and, Thor and Torm, Helm and Horde demand. I mean, the Nine Hells is lawful, is lawfully evil. We will find this mechanic for you, Karlak. After we pick up some loot. Holy moly, what happened here? Whatever killed us knows not be nearby. Careful. Well, I'm not gonna go that way yet. Whoa! Something there. Wait, let's loot everything this this side first. Ah, oh, I'm overwhelmed. There is just so much to explore. What is that? Oh, it's to climb down. Goodness, this is a bloodbath. Intestines? What did this? Oh, there's more back here. Severed leg. Severed arm, severed head. Everything severed. Ah, and I clicked oh, Shadow Heart. Burrow hole. I'm way too big. Could I squeeze in with a helmet? New tactics, new tactics. I'm way too big would have to be a druid that can change into... Could we bring Halsin? Kick someone out. Private word would be nice. May the darkness protect you. If you're sure, 
fine. Don't worry, I'll bring you back, Shadowheart. I just need to see whether he can change into a, a mouse or something. I don't know. You wish to speak? Um. I can't have him in my party. Okay, it seems like Malson can't go in here. And I don't have a potion to make me smaller. So, I don't know. At least that's marked on the map, but... I don't know what to make of it. What's through here? Bodies everywhere. Oh, there's a weak Accident. point here. Or sabotage. That looks like sabotage to me. Something over there. Ooh. Dirt mound. We could actually go sell our stuff already. Arrow of fire. Hmm. Might as well do that. Okay, we are back here on the Risen Road. I took a little short rest. Um, but as I was selling stuff, I kind of looked around the grove a little bit and I saw that there are, the tieflings are all gone, so their stuff is still like red if I look over it, but no one's watching them. I could technically take it, but it's probably not a good... I mean, I'm not lawfully good. I'm only like kind of chaotic, I think. It's down here. I want to go over there, but I also want to look down here, so... Let's look around down here. There's this cave here. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. It's dark in there. Let's see what we can gather from this bridge. I feel like maybe they were attacked by something in that bridge. Or in that cave. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we're going. We're just Ooh. also gathering things. There's stuff there too. There's more dead bodies there. Jeez. Yeah. Hmm. Something's happened here. I don't know. I like it. I go back. Goes back down there. There's all of this going on here. Hyena. Something tall right through these people. I didn't stand a chance. So the hyenas got them. Are they native to this area? Have eaten apples. The hyenas aren't are bloat bloated. They eat too much. His eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. 
She's still hungry. Come! See! My flesh becomes new flesh! Ah. Uh -huh. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping oh, of God. bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. Oh, God. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. What? Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of oh. dying hyenas. Oh. Oh no, I don't want these. Is there any way to stop this? No, come closer. Feed the new flesh. Bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out, forming a vessel of something new. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Like a rotten oh, gross! Thing of frenzy of claws and fangs. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, this is so nasty. What the? What the hell? Oh wait, but we. Hey, let's talk about this. We can talk about this first, right? Well, we should get rid of these that are on the floor. On the victor's path. I don't have mage armor on because we took a long rest and I forgot to apply it. Come on, can't stay idle. Now this is my happy place. Watch this! <laughs> There's a lot around here and I feel like there may be more. Soon. Still on my feet. That one's also dying. I need to sort that one out. Oh, please don't turn. Oh my god! That hyena's making a break for it. This one? Oh, why? Is it gonna do something? Is it gonna do something? I don't have any... It's not a person, I can't hold you! There's more. Ah. Let us pull back slightly. Pay attention. That, that roach mocked Chester. Use the mage armor just in case. Crap, I forgot about this one. Crap, is that one gonna turn?
Ah. Oh crap, it turned. I forgot about that one laying on the floor. Oh wait, actually... I have a shield. What am I doing running away? Yeah. Yeah. Stop touching the spiritual weapon. Can I heal the sword? <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot to deal with. Ooh. Oh wait, I still have Hex on you. That's right. stay there. No, you don't need to dash. Where are you going? Could pull back and they can come down. Or we could go around no, that's too far. I don't want to come up here. That's such a death trap. Unless Carlac goes first. That's why I left Spiritual Sword here, because... Ooh, yes, come closer, come closer. Come closer. over here away from that hopefully he goes in close enough <laughs> hmm I'm gonna have 
have to move up though with this one Time to guard. ahead. Give you a little <laughs> bit of a rank melodorous hostile. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> nice try. No time to waste. Let me reapply hex on one of you. And a movement. Fine, we'll go for that one. Cry about it. Under their noses. I am coming for you. Yes, closer, closer. No, no, that's too close though. Oh, that's too close now. Well, that doesn't help me. Of course I miss. Yeah. I need to save my spell slots. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no more spiritual weapon. I think he's going after Will. Is this an exploding barrel? No, it's a wooden barrel. He's gonna go after Will, so let's make it nice. Nice little daggery space for him to move around. He's dead. Let's get with fire, baby. Poor fucker. <laughs> I love Garlock. Mm -hmm. I don't want to explode that. I need to collect stuff. Get rid of this cloud of daggers. Hey, hey. Toenail tasting trout hole. <laughs> Yuck. Please. These gnolls. This is where the squirrel got it from? Did the squirrel come here? Oh. The gate is closed. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe. Crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the shoulders of the common citizenry. Thieves and outsiders grow fat on the teat, while native Baldurans starve on the street. For too long, the Grand Duke and his Parliament of Peers have left our gate unguarded. If you, like us, stand ready to defend it, then join like-minded individuals for a frank exchange of ideas. Join the keepers of the gate. Enough is enough. The gate is closed. Are they closing our borders? Well, the tieflings won't be able to get in if they do. Longsword. As per my last letter. 
might be useful. Though the name of the receipt is obscured, oh, recipient is obscured, the letter appears to continue a debate of some heat. Your analysis is flawed. The hells are not so simple to understand. Boiling down nine cosmological layers into evil, but with a few more rules, does generations of scholars discredit. Each layer is its own unique moral and magical ecosystem. What Zariel permits in Avernus may be blasphemy to Mammon in the chained cities of Minoris. The Hells bend not only to their whim and will, but their mere presence. The more souls they acquire, the more that combined influence spreads. Avernus itself is glorious for study. Watch a Yugoloth. Mercenary debate mid-battle with a Rakshasha. And tell me I'm wrong. From its red starless sky to every bloody tributary leading to the Styx, there is something to explore. Of course, getting down there in the middle of the blood war is a bit stressful, but you can't judge what you don't know. I've gone off topic. The point is, you're wrong. Looking forward to your reply. Best. Silvira Savikas, Sage of S Candlekeep. I like that. I want to I wanna read more of their back and forth, whatever it was. Shipment orders. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. There is not a th that is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open the chest. NF. Perhaps our ones survived this attack? We will find whoever did. Where is this chest? Is that what caused this to happen? No, it was the gnolls. How much further can Do I the go? gnolls have the chest? This poor newborn gnoll lived for but a few seconds before its death. Since each round in D&D, &D, it's about six seconds, so yeah, I've got a good couple of seconds there before I put an end to it. I need this rib cage. Oil of accuracy. Viscera. Oil of bones. There's more going up this way. Let's have a look. Onyx ring. Wait, there's more up here too. Why is there a random fire here? I haven't gone up here. Ah, oh, overwhelming. Oh wait, uh, an open letter on oppression and peacocks. I think I read this already. Yeah. Let's go. Intestines. Severed arm. There's so many body parts that we're gonna sell. There's a, a thing there, a settlement. Wheelbarrow. There's... Goodness, there's so much. And that's the, the goblin, the blighted village. Okay. We're going to need to long rest if we continue forward. Um, I have one spell slot. Shadow Heart has one. I want to just explore a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit more.
A Shaba Dusk? I'm assuming this is alcohol. It, yeah, it is. Looks empty. What is this chest they were talking about? Lessons for sensible living for cities and how to survive them. The first page summarizes the contents. The remaining pages clumsy elaborate on them in great detail. 1. On not going to cities, the simplest piece of advice for sensible folk to avoid cities entirely. Number 2. On marketplaces, people often tell me, Harrington, my fleeces and turnips are worth more in a city market than at a local village fair. Fools to them, I say. Your fleece and turnips will be robbed long before you reach the market square, and you will have only a few lumps and bruises to take home. Number three. On taverns, all simple folk enjoy draining a mug of locally produced ale in the company of their friends, but some of you may have heard tell of the extravagant ta taverns that populate the cities of the Sword Coast. If body names like the Blushing Mermaid and the Wizard Stave were not sufficient warning of their impropriety, impropriety, Impropriety? Impropriety! Mmm, let it be known that you will be robbed long before you finish your first tankard and will have only a few lumps and bruises for company. Number four, on sewerage. Be like you, keep a pot by your bedside and cast out the leavings into a communal pit of a morn. Sensible and cleanly behavior. Many cities have dispensed with such simple methods of hygienic living and instead the waste of the inhabitants coming commingles commingles and flows through great channels beneath the very streets a breeding ground for mucky creatures number five on becoming lost cities are far too large and you will become lost almost immediately a fellow once told me that baldur's gate is actually three cities in one an outer an inner and an upper i believe he thought i would be impressed but i simply spat in his eye and sent him on his way harrington nethelin this guy is, does not like people, it is clear. There seems to be a place over here. All these roads seem to lead there. This seems to be the main... The main entry or exit. Let's go down a little farther. Before we long rest. Let's see. Signpost. Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West. Baldur's Gate, East Elturel. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go back here in a moment. Let's let's just look at the roads surrounding this area. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Oh, this is where I heard the, the fire. Something's burning. Pitchfork. So this is what I saw in the telescope, or heard. Because that telescope is crazy that I could hear- I could hear sound- hear sight? I could hear things I see through a telescope. What else is through here? Oh, Ahina, it's- it's on- fire pit. Maybe they were cooking it. Oh. That looks like an encounter. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe if we're coming this way. Oh, this looks like an encounter. I would need to long rest. Okay, let's let's long rest.
like recently it's been doing that where it's like kind of getting choppy. I still don't see Owlbear. Did Owlbear go away forever? I hope not. Some other people carry this for now. The hammer is heavy. Tongs are heavy. These weapons are heavy. Apparently, this book is quite heavy too. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. Oh. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. What should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. So I can't remove it until I find the source. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic then? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Uh-oh. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So who are you? It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. We're in the same boat. I've been boat. trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Wait, there's this battle going over here. She's in the middle of it. She's in another realm, clearly. Another plane of existence. 
that I can't be quite sure of. She's been... She's had this parasite in her for a long time. And what is going on, on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. How many of her kind have a parasite? Hmm. So this has been happening in another plane of existence for longer than it's happened to us. We just happened to land here and now it started here. But doesn't it doesn't answer why the source is here. Unless that was intentional to keep us out. Maybe Let me talk to Honey. Closer. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the Absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. Yeah, she, she told me the same. greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. It's something to consider for sure, but he's also power hungry. Our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. We shouldn't rely on them or their powers. I admire the vigor with which you uphold your principles. But I would remind you that the evils of the Absolute are far greater than any moral compromise we might make by using our tadpoles' full potential. True. Your confidence in our existing capabilities is quite rousing, though. Perhaps that spirited enthusiasm will be strength enough to subdue the cult when the time comes. Hmm. Can't bring you with me, Gail. Sorry, you're too squishy. Will. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet... I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. His father's words kind of remind me of the ends justify the means, which... I don't know. I don't know about that. I'd sooner avoid these powers if we can. I feel like we're being led into a trap. Then we'd do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly, if you must use them at all. I wonder if Volo dreamed about it. Then we'd find out if he has a parasite or not. Ah, my good ah. seems like Quite he did not. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I wonder. I really hope he travels with us the entire journey. That would be so great. Halsin. Halsin's clearly doesn't have a parasite. I want to tell him about it, though. Um... Oh, I can. Yeah, alright. Cool. Don't want to tell him about it. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair. And offered another generous gift. A persuasive so creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears. And do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us. 
how far into illithid madness it could drag us. Yeah, I'm kind of agreeing with her. It does seem super suspicious that this guardian is like, I will reward you. You you can do what I cannot. I don't know, and it's not telling us in enough. Ah. Uh, I distrust it too. There's some th I don't know, there's something about it. I'll avoid using this power. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. There's something about it. It's it's of the illithid, so it's like these tadpoles already in their design are not to be trusted. And what that guardian is saying is just, I don't know, it feels like she's buttering me up. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. I don't like it. This whole thing feels like a trap. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. Uh, Did sorry. you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? <laughs> It is pretty it is pretty downer of me to be like, "Oh, new gift. Let's let's not use it." But also, I don't know. I just don't trust it. What do you think, Edwin? Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. I'm not sure if we can use these tadpoles for good before extracting them. No, no, no. It feels like a trap. Agreed. A bit of shiny armor doesn't impress me that much. I don't want to get taken in by a pretty offer and pay the price later on. It seems like it's kind of a lesson too. It seems like all of them, their backgrounds, or a lot of them, is they were tempted by something, a reward and seized it, and ended up this way. How did you end up with such a contraption on your chest? The year, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, <laughs> a not knee delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd worked for a guy I respected a lot turns out the feeling wasn't mutual through the jigs and the reels he made a deal with Zariel behind my back you know Zariel right archdevil of Avernus she put this thing in my chest and set me to work but to war I learned quick how to stay alive and the engine served me when it came to killing devils ten years of that the stories I could tell. These soul coins. Is that what's needed to power her in infernal machine? You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. It's okay, Karlak, we'll get your freedom back. What does the infernal engine do to you? It gives me energy, power. But you've seen it in action, very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. 
Yeah, I saw. What's that been like? Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. Oh. A pat. Anything. You I never met anyone you. so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. Oh, Carlac. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Feels like we're walking into a trap. That's what it feels like. Dog gets pets before we go out. I don't know where the owlbear went. I'm sad. Owlbear didn't stay. I thought they were best friends. The owlbear used to hang out here. Don't know where it went. Where am I needed? Mage armor. Got my pack weapon. What to do? <laughs> yeah. I like that animation a lot. Okay, here we go. I think. Maybe we can speak with them and reason with them? Nope, they're red. Ah, they cannot be reasoned with. Wait for that one to move. Out of sight, out of mind. There is work to do. Just keep everyone Make hidden so everyone can get their shots in. If we can get rid of this one first, because it's kind of closer. <laughs> what the hell are they doing over there? Oh, oh God! There's more. Hear that? We should help. Oh. Don't be a fool, lad. Allies? Shut your mouth and keep your head down. No. Leave the heroics to them that don't no. value you their help. own skin. You help. Excuse me. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, wait. This is... Hold on. Let's get up Coming here. Through. still hidden so go here lay a ranged attack cheap shot yeah and then head over here to stop anyone from going up this little area here keeping my head down 
that guy has a lot of health. We'll save this for when people start moving up here. So for right now, let's see if I can get a Tasha's Hideous on this one. Or this one. a little bit closer. Bless everyone. Great target out of sight. Come on. God damn it. There we go. She will move later. Well, so much for peace. Time to push my luck again. I will play a power song. Victor's path. My turn. All right, and this is their surprise round. So they're not gonna move, and that means that Shadowheart can move till about here, and I'll put the Cloud of Daggers somewhere here when Karlak moves. Put my spiritual weapon. Maybe over here, deal with these things first. Hello, I am here. Oh, this guy sucks. Great, that bless didn't last very long. That was useless. Mm. Three of you are... Oh, nope, you're coming closer. Mm. That is such BS. That is such BS. He's gonna step forward. Uh. <laughs> Go back to playing a song. <laughs> Inspire my friends.
Oh, I have advantage on this one right now. Oh, but opportunity attack. Never mind. Let's get up here before things get dicey. Why did I get all upset about that? Or is it because I'm standing on acid? Ooh, I'm gonna pop a potion. Where are the potions? They are with me. All 24 of them. Oh. I've been stocking up in a lot of potions. I wish I could disengage and get out of this mess. has opportunity attack. It's okay, they're engaged with that right now. Ha! Ah. Oh my god. I need to sleep one of these before I revive her. Favors the fearless. Who's that jerk? Here you are. <laughs> Move up higher. Blood comes easy these days. Are you humanoids? Ten turns. There we go. Oh, can't revive you, huh? Can't yet. but I will in the next turn. I really could use that spiritual weapon right now. This is dicey here. X is gone. I don't have any more spell slots. What the hell? You know what? Maybe I should go around the back. This is probably better. Okay, if I fail this, I'm going around back instead. Ah, oh, this is this is a bad, bad, bad thing. This is bad. Forever dauntless. This is real bad. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Move a little bit here so that I get both of you. No, please. Why do you shoot so many times? Ah, oh, bloody. Alright. I can't even catch 
catch my breath. Ah. Uh. What the hell did it? I gave it to Shadowheart, didn't I? Again. <laughs> Why did they shoot so many times? You suck. <laughs> ah. I don't know if that'll do anything. those cloud of daggers. I so can't stand these guys. They shoot so many goddamn times. Ah. Ah. Oh, finally. Ah, oh, finally. You, sir. survivability here. <laughs> Poor Shadowheart, he, she hasn't been here this whole time. Forever, pal. <laughs> no surrender. Dead. Oh, I you hit so many bloody times. All right, this is my vengeance on you. Oh, vengeance. Hold on, I'm trying to seek vengeance here. God damn it! Do I? Can I not see? Ah. Ah, there was no- there's no vengeance for me. Another parasite. Collected. Oh my it god. Be useful. By the gods. You're a sweet sight. Are any yeah, of my crew still alive help. out there? No. It's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. Yes. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Oh, Tell okay. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Little serpent, long shadow. Detect thoughts. Oh, I don't have much wisdom. And Shadowheart is still on the ground. 
Oh. Ooh. Roll again. Come on. I just need a 13 or okay, one more time. Just one one more. Carla can do it in the next roll. She can totally do it. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Shame we lost so many agents. But the chest is all that matters. Zaris would have our hides if we lost it. What's in the chest? Your cargo? Aye. The whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Terenths. Oh, I don't know. A lot of people died for those baubles. Rich men place more value on wine and fine clothes than on the lives of folks like me. It's a pretty bit of frippery that'll sit on a mantle gathering dust. But the pay for delivering it makes the risk worthwhile. Oh, I can't do this. We're doing... we're doing good run. Oh, we're doing good girl run. Oh, okay. Enjoy your chest and your... I'll go to the slippery serpent. Oh, she's still down. Oh, we're gonna be okay. We just need a short rest and you'll feel fine. Going a little longer now. Something good here, I hope. What is he looking for? What are you looking for there, buddy? I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave. Why, wow, what's in that cave? Shattered flail. Yunogu's gift. He's like the Noel god. Or demon? He's not really a god. A demon? Hitting an enemy with this weapon heals the wielder for one to six hit points, but they can go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. Aw, oh, that's... That's that's a fun mechanic. Madness. That symbol in the blood. What does it mean? Speedy reply. Wheeler hits an enemy with this weapon, they gain momentum for two turns. Too bad I can't use the martial weapon. But I know who can, Will. I wonder if the gods are watching me. This symbol here. More for me. More for me. I like how my character reflects exactly, exactly what I feel. Whoa, what is this? Gaping hole. Bet we can climb down that bucket. Well, lad, it's our lucky day after all. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's off digested and just. There is another cave somewhere. Down there. We have to remember to go there. It was like. here somewhere. Here? It was here. Actually, maybe this leads down there. Oh, wait. Hyena ear. How you holding up, Ruben? I'm fine. And so's the chest, more importantly. That's curious. Seems like a good moment to talk. Thanks again. We'll head out as soon as we've caught our breath. 
I hope not. Damn, I want Logan, I want whatever is in there. So's the chest, more importantly. I want it, but I can't have it because good girl run. Mm. Can't afford to stay idle. Oh, there was that Oh she has Misty Step too. Shoot. Um there's that amulet that's basically a free short rest. I should have brought it with me. It's in camp though. Needed. It's okay, I have so many health potions right now. I'll be kicking myself for being so frivolous with its use. Let's move. But it's fine for now. At the ready. These things I can loot though. Well lad. It's our lucky day after all. Explore the rest of this cave. The rest of our crew's off digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. Someone else was staying here. Maybe it was them. They're... I'm fine. I chose the chest more importantly. Haha, <laughs> saying the same thing. That's a broken bottle. The lady of souls ah. guide us. I'm so blown away with how large this world is. Don't burn yourself. On my way. Like, uh, it's huge here. Cool. No time to rest. Can I make it? I can. With a flick of the wrist. I get back. There. Oh, that's what I was worried about because it looked lower down. Soldier. This is such a looking such ahead. a big cavern. Don't waste a step. So there's also that way down, so maybe that's the way. There's like holes here. Is this to the underdark? Well lad, it's our lucky day after all. I don't feel lucky. The rest Can of our crew's off digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. Making me sweat. Carlac can go up there. Uh huh. I'm fine. And so's the chest, more importantly. All this stuff to loot. The money, the riches. Well, the minor riches, since it's like his pet, like little pilfering is like little bits of money. But also, you find some nice little treasures, and it helps that it gives me quite a few camping supplies, so I don't have to freak out about not having 80 camping supplies. Okay, that does go back down. All right, so we can actually see. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's off digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. We can see what's down there. Still breathing, despite everything. Has this got traps in it or something? Oh, interesting. We could have come up this way. And then... 
fought with them on this side. Light on my feet. Just another crate. Ah, it does. It has fire wine. Oh, there's a trap. I need your help. Ah, there was a trap. An Indiana Jones style trap. That's awesome. Awesome. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna long rest. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, I know I got hurt by that, but I was still pretty cool. I mean an Indiana Jones trap here. Can't go back out this way. Alright, that was cool. I appreciate that. We're definitely long resting. There's stuff to loot there. Oh, I want to take your well stuff. Done. It's our lucky day after all. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. That's what matters. Awesome. Oh, well, we could have gone this way up here and we would have seen that and that would be so cool. But that will fit in my bag. What's this? Wait, it's not here. It's here. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I had a feeling it was trapped. Why did I move forward so much? Foolish. Okay. We are going to head over to um, Joaquin, Joaquin's Rest. I guess it's faster to walk through here. What does that sound? And then we will wrong, long, wrong, wrong rest, long rest before we go in. That looks like fire and terrible. So yeah, it's all of this. Missing shipment is here. Oh, Githyanki Crush is there. Oh, okay. Long rest. I need a moment. First, we talk to enough. Honey. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? Oh, I guess we will not be speaking about this. I could go selling, but let's go to bed. An uneventful night. Before we leave camp. I need to be in the habit of doing this before leaving camp. Well, let's see if that that other weapon I picked up, if it's any good. This one. I doubt it. Pride of the gate. But... Oh, on average it's better. The average is better. Oh, I'm not proficient? Oh, it's a martial weapon. No one back home will ever believe this. I could give this to Asterion. I'll send it to camp in case... I'm not gonna use this. But it's, it's fun, it's just not usable.
sharp as ever. Is that blood? No. Now we can mind. leave camp. Okay. Awesome. We are pretty much ready to go, but before we head into Joaquin's chest, or chest, before we go into Joaquin's rest, um, we will end the episode here and pick up next time heading in and exploring this new area. So thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support by liking and subscribing to this video and I will see you next time. Take care everyone.